What's up guys, Shane Storms with droidforums.net. This is just a quick tip, and today I'm just going to show you guys how to add an awesome transition to your home screen. So you guys can see this really cool transition. It just gives your phone a custom look and feel. Most of your friends are probably just running whatever launcher comes with their phone. Like for Samsung, they're probably just running the stock TouchWiz or HTC. They're probably running the stock Sense. Uh, or if they're on a Nexus like this, the Nexus 6 are probably running AOSP. With all of those user interfaces, you don't get this awesome transition animation. Uh, so the way that I have achieved this transition animation is simply by downloading a custom launcher. There are a lot of custom launchers out there that will allow you to add a custom transition animation. The Nova launcher happens to be one of my favorites. Okay, so if we open up the Nova launcher settings... Go to desktop and we go to scroll effect. You guys can see there are several scroll effects to choose from. And the one that I have it on now, or that I had it on, was the cube. One thing I like about Nova Launcher is it kind of gives you a preview of the animation right up top here. So if we go to card stack, you guys can see the difference between cube and card stack. And if we press OK and then we go home, you guys can see the difference there. And we'll change it again. This was one of the customizations that really drew me to Android and ROMs in general. Uh, the first time that I ever saw that cube style transition animation, it really just had me hooked on ROMs. I had to get my hands on a custom ROM ASAP because there was a time when, you know, I didn't even realize what a custom launcher was or that you could get it from the Play Store. I just knew that my favorite ROMs came stock with those. So I've always really been a big fan of these scroll effects. So we'll go to the tablet. And you guys can see it adds the little boxes there, just like if you're on the tablet UI. We'll do the flip. And there are several others, but you guys basically get the point here. Um, just a really easy way to change the look and feel of your device, give you a new experience on your home screen. Anyways, guys, that about wraps it up for this quick tip. If you liked the video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the future. You can find more of me at droidforums.net. Thanks, guys, for watching. I'll see you in the next one.